We have a very large cohort of PhD students. These are postgraduates undertaking research in the school. They're very active. They organise their own seminars. In fact, uh, they're organising their own annual conference. Because we're a large school, then this is reflected in the types of research that our PhD students are engaged with. So it's the, again, it's the whole spectrum of mathematics. Once our PhD students have their own original research to present, we encourage them to attend conferences both at an international and a national level and it, we feel this is important for them, particularly if they're interested in academic careers. The research interest of the school covered the whole spectrum of mathematics from pure to applied and probability and statistics. The excellence of the research has been confirmed by a variety of national and international performance metrics. I mean a PhD can feel like a bit of a lonely experience but we have a very vibrant community of over 100 PhD students and there are also professional bodies such as Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics that has a student chapter here in Manchester and they provide funding for these sorts of activities, some money to travel and go to international conferences, some money to set up conferences where students can discuss ideas. Apart from your own research, you have the opportunity to teach uh, undergraduate students as well, which, which you can actually earn a lot of teaching experience. And also you get to help people with difficulties, like uh, some students with some questions, you, always, uh, you can always go and explain the answers to them. The Access Grid are what we call the magic courses, and they're currently run for our postgraduate students. So that's a system that's been set up that allows lectures to be shared across different universities in the UK, and that's been very successful for teaching our postgraduate students. This summer I was part of an organising committee for an interdisciplinary research conference aimed at the students of the School of Maths. So it's really interesting to get some guys coming in explaining to us some of the interesting maths that they've found some uses for in their work. One-to-one -one tutorial or one-to-one -one mentoring gives the opportunity to students to focus on particular projects or even ask for any help or any particular problems that they face either in their lectures or maybe with example sheets. They get used to working as a team early on. It's a lot of the time people kind of may have a view that PhD students sit in isolation, but they don't. They rapidly put into a research group and they learn how to study together and work as part of a team. And that's the life of a modern academic nowadays, is that you have to be collaborative. And our students are taught how to do that. The research at the school covers the entire spectrum of mathematics and is funded from a variety of sources, including a doctoral training grant from EPSRC, the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council. In addition, students are funded by industrial partners, charities, or maybe if they're overseas from their home country. All research areas are well represented, um, which means that you have numerous um, members of staff as well as PhD students that you can always bounce ideas off. So many of our academics are working directly with industry. We have companies who've paid for our academics and postgraduate and postdoctoral students to work on research projects. We have representatives from companies who come and work within the school to, do, to work on research projects. And we have a dedicated member of staff who works to create these links and invites company representatives into the school to talk to our academics to, to forge new research projects. So there's a lot of activity within the school.